So, I need to talk about torsion fields, and I need to talk about the work of Paramahamsa Tiwari of India. Mr. Tiwari was a chief scientist and project director at uh, the Indian Atomic Power Corporation. However, he was also an independent and still is an independent researcher into free energy. And, uh, one of the things he said in his books was that he defines energy as a state of vacuum in rotation. What that suggests to him is that there are torsion fields in the universe. Immaterial fields that are held together by the force of their own inherent torsional um, reference, if you will. Um, in other words, all energy to him is mediated by fields of vacuum in rotation. Vacuum being obviously a, a, a biasable medium in this case. If, that, if vacuum is indeed the source of charge. But the point is charge is not the only form of energy. Okay, so we need to talk about torsion itself. Like what is emotion? Do you feel emotion simply in my tone of voice as some kind of triggered response in your brain? Or do you feel emotion viscerally? Do you feel it directly? Do you actually have a field of force moving between you and someone else? Yes. Yes, you do. It's called a torsion field. And you can create it with your voice or you can create it without your voice. And you know that when somebody's in a bad mood, even if they don't say it. It's in their body language and you feel it in the field around you that somebody's not in a good space. So I'm suggesting that, that torsion is a model for not only these emotive powers that we have, but also for consciousness itself. Because at the quantum level, rotation could exist in, in an infinite number of vectors as evidenced by the fact that you cannot reach the end of pi. Okay? Because pi is a self-defining relationship that has n can, can have no remainder if you want to ex experience the full force of what pi re is really telling you. It's saying that there are n dimensions of rotation in the universe. That's what it's intimating anyway. And so are fractal geometries and so forth, demonstrating an infinite uh, Fibonacci repetition that just never ends and just keeps regenerating itself in a spiral dynamic. Okay, spiral dynamics are inherent to the mathematics of force in the universe. Okay, and therefore fields of pure force, i.e. torsion fields, can and do exist and have been demonstrated by many, including Gennady Shipov of Russia, including Bruce De Palma, who made many measurements of rotating objects and their effects on other objects, including living objects such as plants while growing. And it was found that divergent patterns of growth occurred, not when rotating the actual pie plate, but when rotating a 78 RPM disc underneath a growing pie plate and the grass grew like that out from a radial center okay no changes in the light okay uniform lighting just one addition a rotating disc of mass of some mass underneath there have been other experiments uh, let's not fixate on De Palma he was a pioneer for sure and he was a colleague of Paramahansa Tiwari Tuari still lives, Tuari still works as of this date in 2017, late 2017. We are um, blessed to actually have true pioneers of physics alive on the earth in the form of such men. And if we wanted to, we could grasp some of the fundamental quantum dynamical concepts and cosmologies that are being advanced today, like I did when I started studying this stuff at 19 and now I'm 48 so I'm like almost 30 years into a kind of scholarship in you know fundamental physics and I don't feel proud to say that I'm as dumb as when I started except that uh, I think I can build some pretty cool machines that nobody else has built before and we're going to talk about how torsion can be measured mechanically 
in other videos. That's a teaser, folks. Um, how can torsion be measured not only qualitatively through emotion, but quantitatively through meters? In fact, how can it be used as a communications, amplifications, amplification uh, means, a means of amplification? How can torsion be used to amplify other energies or preserve food or enhance catalytic action in certain chemical processes or strengthen alloys, which has been indeed shown to occur when torsion fields are applied to allo uh, metal, like aluminum, that is cooling. You don't need to add the alloy. You don't need to mix another metal in to get the same strength as you would otherwise just by applying a torsion field. Okay, this is referencing the work of Gennady Shipov in Russia. S-H-I-P-O-V. Anyway, this stuff's not buried. It's just not common knowledge that there have been people working, including Eric Lathwaite of BBC fame, on tremendous forward-thinking concepts related to propulsion, space propulsion. Torsion is the means of space propulsion that I'm interested in, and I'm not going to focus on anything else. No propulsive means of transport like rockets has any, like, it has zero interest to me. I mean, maybe for some maneuvering jets or something like that, some high-efficiency rockets would be nice, but we don't need it if if we have advanced inertial propulsion systems or even gravitational nullification systems. So this is for another talk. Um, we are generators of torsion fields ourselves though. That's the important thing. Your consciousness is based on torsion because every sense of rotation being different in the n-dimensional rotating field of time produces the infinite variations of awareness and phenomena, color, light, sound. All of that is being created at the quantum level by torsion, in my opinion, or a form thereof. People don't talk about this, but this is the way to control gravity. This is the way to heal bones fast. This is a way to um, build bridges that uh, don't need suspension arms and stuff. Okay? We're going to have to talk about that another time. But you're standing on the cusp of a new science age, and you are a part of it because you've listened to this entire video. Please subscribe to this channel and learn more directly from me. You can write me at andrew.mount at sbcglobal.net. Andrew.mount at sbcglobal.net. Peace be with you.